Hello everyone, this is Dragonaut and welcome to episode 12 of Hellsworth Hogwarts in Minecraft. And as you can see behind me, we have the start of the Transfiguration Courtyard, which we built in last episode. And if you have not watched the episode, I will leave a link in the description and a card in the top right hand corner. And so one thing we can do to kind of add a massive sense of being complete is to add in this area right here. And while you may notice, these foundations do look rather similar. And that is because, well, it's this area once again. And so what you can do is just rebuild this front face area right here. Onset these foundations right here. This should be absolutely identical. And then rebuild this kind of front face area along here onto these foundations right there. I don't think I need to do a tutorial on this since, well, I've already done one. So you can go back to, I believe, episode five to check that out. Or obviously you can just rebuild what is literally right in front of you. However, a quick tip is um, you do not need to build this roof there or this roof there. And so I will just see you guys once you have done all of that. I think it should be pretty simple to build. It is literally identical. And then once you've done that, we can obviously go ahead and fill in the middle section just in here. And so I will see you guys once you have done that. And so once the first phase has been built in, that will just slot in very nicely on here. Obviously this will be on this massive 5x5 five five area, which we kind of avoided a lot last episode. And that will just go on right here. And obviously this is just that area just with the roof shaved off. And see so what we can do is just come into here and place a 3x3 three three area just right here, just like that. And then you can grab yourself some sandstone stairs just there and place these all the way around just like this just like this going all the way around just like that and that should create a kind of cross in the middle and then of course all we need to do is just build this onto the other side of course in this orientation here with the window kind of facing out to the area over here so go ahead and copy this design onto the other side just there and actually before we do that one thing i did notice is this area along here is actually slightly different you will notice that this is not actually on the foundations and so we'll just push this in one block along here going all the way up until we come in line with the roof up here and that will just end just like that does add a bit of variation since obviously this side does not is not going to have this kind of middle area to kind of detract from a massive flat face and so we are just going to come in one block just there and so now kind of flip this onto the other side with the exact same design as this obviously without that area there and so I will see you guys once you have done that. And once that is built, that will look just like this. With the obviously, this is obviously perfectly symmetrical along here. And then the next thing we need to do is just fill in this massive wall here. So what we can do is use the fill command once again. So we take this corner right here and do slash fill and then press tab three times and then enter the corners of this block right here. Press enter, nothing will happen. Come up to here and run the exact same command again and then fill that in with cut sandstone of course sandstone 2 on bedrock edition and then do the exact same thing on this side let's fill one two three like that and then up to here as well and then one two three enter enter three coordinates and then press cut sandstone and there we go and then obviously this area needs a door since this is obviously a bridge going to the west wing and so we can go ahead and go up one two three four five blocks one two three four five blocks and then give yourself some sandstone stairs and just create an archway just like that and then place a sandstone stair there a sandstone stair there just like that and then come back out just like this and then fill in this area all the way to the top and yeah i, I guess this wall is pretty pretty flat to be honest obviously we can obviously go ahead and add in some decorations for example we can go ahead and add in some lines of cut sand of sandstone slabs so there's one along here so just go ahead and continue this all the way along just there and then another one following this line here just going along just like this and that will look just like that and then the next thing we need to do is of course just join these two sides together using just the exact same design just continuing this along just like that and of course the same for all of this area as well and uh, obviously i am going a bit quicker because this is literally we've already built this area before to be honest it's just in a different location and so that's why i am going a bit quicker than usual because i don't think we need to go into as much detail into this area as other areas since well it's we've already built it there on the other side and we're literally just kind of filling in the exact same design just along here just like that and then of course adding in the rest of the stairs i just hate placing stairs in general i don't know why they're just such a pain i think other people kind of agree with me 
but just put it there, it's just, it's just so annoying. Stuff like that happens, and you've got to place it again, and it's just generally a bit of a mess. Uh, I, I just really don't like using stairs. And then of course, just kind of continue this until you have connected both sides up. And then once you've done that, we can now work on the windows. And so that's what it looked like this once done. It's pretty simple to be honest. It's just very, very similar to over there. And oh, what's happened over here? There we go. And obviously this is very similar to over there. And so I have just continued this wall all the way down to here. Of course, when you are doing the interior, you can kind of really do whatever you want on this inside. Anyway, let's go ahead and add in some decoration. And so we continue this line along here, just like that. And then I'm going to say there are three windows going up along there. And so very similar to those windows along there, we're going to find the center block. So that is along here, going up, and then just smash in a four by three area, just like over there. And then grab myself some smooth hands stairs and some black stained glass and go ahead and add in a window behind. And that will look just like that. And oh, I'm kind of getting, does this, does this look like a screaming alien? It looks like a screaming alien to me, but like those are like the kind of eyes kind of poking up the head and then like a mouth there. Does anyone else see that? Is that just me? It's probably just me. Anyway, let's just make it a lot, not look like a screaming alien and add in some more windows. And so I guess we can leave a, a three ball gap actually and add in a, another window right here with the smooth center stairs arch in, just like that. Obviously with a three block gap in between, and then leave another three block gap on this side and smash in the exact same window size. And then of course add in the sandstone stairs to smooth it off. And then obviously the window behind. And that will look like that. And yeah, it doesn't look like a screaming alien anymore. So that is a good thing. And then obviously in this area here, you can obviously add in a door. I mean, we can really do whatever we really want with this door, to be honest. And so, uh, grab yourself some strip spruce wood. And just build a rim around this area, just like this, like that. And then going up in the middle. And then, yeah, just like this, I guess. And then with some spruce planks in between these gaps there, just like that. And then you can go ahead and grab yourself some stone buttons. And yeah, just place these right there. And that is that bit done. And obviously the floor level is right there. And that is where the suspension bridge is going to go along into the west wing in a later episode. And so now the kind of grindy bit, which is just this L shape here. It's what I love about this L shape is it doesn't matter what your dimensions are. Because it's literally just a roof going along there and then a roof going along there. And as long as they connect, it's really not that much a big of a deal. Since it's, it's just such a large build. No one will notice a one block gap and I, I assure you your friends are just not, not going to notice it. It's absolutely fine. And so we obviously just need to add in this massive roof going along. And obviously there is this tower here, but I guess we'll leave that for another episode. I really hate this tower so much. If you're on my Discord server, you will know how much we hate this tower. Oh, more, in, more into that in a later episode. Anyway, onto the roof area here. And actually, first thing we are going to do is grab yourself some sandstone stairs. And yeah, I just changed all of these blocks along here to sandstone stairs, just kind of facing in, and that will get ready to start off the roof section. So yeah, I probably should have made this last episode, but it's a design thing I just noticed just right now, to be honest. And so let's go ahead and wrap these all the way around, and then of course stopping once you come in line. Yeah, right about there, that's fine. And then we can start off the roof. And so we're going to grab ourselves some dark oak stairs for this roof, and I guess to start off with a block there. And then we're going to go up six blocks, so one two, three in there, four, five, and then six right there. Obviously these angles are quite tough to get in, but that should look just like that. So six blocks up, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then to round off a dark oak slab on the top, just there. And then obviously a roof must come back down, so we will just go ahead and build this back down along here. Don't worry if it does cover up some area of the windows. We can go ahead and patch that in later. Just, I don't know, just cover up like that. <laughs> and then just continue this roof all the way down. Six blocks. Just like that. Oh, you know, one more layer. Just like... Just like that. There we go. Oh, damn it, stairs. There we go. And that will go along just like there. Yeah, you guessed it. Oh, we need to build this along the whole way. Damn, I hate stairs so much. Yeah, let's use the clone command. Okay, so obviously our gold block is going to be our first coordinate, our diamond block second, and emerald block position block. So what we are going to do is actually, well, this is our gold block right here, so we're not actually going to break it. So do slash clone while looking at it and press tab three times to get the coordinates and press enter just like that. Obviously nothing will happen. And then put a line of diamond blocks going along there. And then looking at the last one, obviously on top of this area here, do slash clone and press tab three more times uh, like that and press enter. 
nothing will happen. And then just smash the diamond blocks just there. And then what we are going to do is place an emerald block right there, stand on it, and then type in three lexicons or just squiggly things as I call them. And on the middle one, place a minus one afterwards and press enter. And there we go. And so we can just kind of do this then. You just place a line of emerald blocks all the way on here. Since we just need a medium to walk on, just go ahead and bring these all the way along just to the end of that line just there. And then all you need to do is just run the command on each block. And yeah, it's very simple. Obviously, it might not work on your additional Minecraft, so you might have to build it out by hand. But yeah, look look how quickly this is going. Um, and yeah, just make sure you're standing on the correct block. So just these emerald blocks as we go along. Don't miss out one just there. And there we go. <laughs> that was done pretty, pretty quickly, actually. And you see what I mean? If it is, obviously, if, it is, if your courtyard is a bit longer, just, just extend the roof a bit. It, it really doesn't matter. So don't worry about one block errors. Obviously, if you've got this far in tutorial, I'm pretty sure you're used to one block errors by now. And then the next thing we need to do is just build this along here. And so what we will do is need to build up six blocks. So two, three, four, five, six, and then a slab on top just there obviously identical to that area there and then come back down just like this and oh my gosh there's a horrible just like that an a-frame just like this and we can use the exact same technique we just used so looking at this block right here do slash clone and press tab three times to get the coordinates up there press enter nothing will happen then take your diamond block which is our second which is our second coordinate and bring that along here just like this and looking at the last one, press tab three more times, just like that. Press enter, nothing will happen. And then we'll just place an emerald block right there. And then after command, we'll place three lexicons with the minus one below. The exact same kind of syntax we used in the original clone command. And press enter. And hopefully, there we go. Perfect. And so obviously just go ahead and place any block ready along here. Just so you can walk on a block and run the command at, like simultaneously. And just do that. Uh, just do it until the edge of the end. Right there. And yeah, let's go ahead and run it on every block. And so yeah, let's go. Ah, getting close to the camera. <laughs> right, there we go. Yeah, in this gap, you can just go ahead and just extend the roof along there. Obviously, these kind of nooks and crannies, they aren't really explorable on the Hogwarts model. So that will be fine. <laughs> and yeah, that adds a lot of space. So this is just two episodes worth of progress. Excellent. And so next, we need to add in the walls behind. And so what we are going to do, so come to the bottom of your roof here. If you're done like me, it will be in line with this kind of base beam right here. If it's not, don't worry, it should be um, fine to be honest. And build down one, two, three, four, five, five blocks, just like that. And that will look just there. And all you need to do is just, yeah, just go along the whole way. So just go along, just place blocks all the way along here. Keep on going all the way along. I think this is 38 blocks, but I'm not 100% sure. And just we need to fill in this area with cut sandstone. So slash fill this block here. Press tab three times. Press enter. I'm assuming you guys are pretty confident with full commands by now. If you're not, you can build it by hand, obviously. And this corner right here with cut sandstone, just like that. And then just to add some decoration, we will add in some kind of blocks going along here. Going along the entire way, just kind of add some fortifications for Hogwarts. What are they called again? I don't know. I'll get the name later. Just like that. Obviously extend this wall along here for however long your roof goes. And then grab yourself some sandstone slabs and just place these on top of all of these blocks. To add some kind of um, decoration, I guess. Just like so. And then I did get some questions about this area. For some reason, I just hate this area so much. We will just be doing this in a completely separate episode of the east wing yeah we'll just do it later and so the next thing you always want to do is grab yourself some of your dark oak stairs and just come down two blocks just like that and just keep building these along until you come in line with this area right here so just about there not coming onto these area right there and that will look just like that and then the next thing you need to do is just bring this down until it comes in line with your foundations below don't worry if it doesn't, just leave it, it's fine. And so, next thing you need to do is just fill this in with cut sandstone. So, slash slash fill, so slash fill. These three cores right there. And then these three cores right here. And I'm hoping you guys are getting more familiar with the full command. I should just be able to just say how to do it. And you guys will be fine with it. 
And so um, in this area, we have this kind of tower turret right here. So just outline that there and just build this all the way up. Obviously, I'm ignoring this area here since that is a separate tower, which we will complete in, I don't know, next episode maybe. And so let's just build this area up and just build this up until you are in line with the top of this wall we just built in the previous step. And that will look just like that. And actually, yeah, just smash that there. And then just kind of carry on these fortifications going all the way around just like this and with some sandstone slabs on top, just like that. And then add in a, a flooring, just like that, just there. And then the next thing we do need to do is build this area right here. And so the first thing we are going to do, some more of these stairs. So just go ahead, just like identical to over there, build these along here until you come in line with this area right here, just like over there, just like this. And then, and we'll just come down three blocks along here and just fill in this area right here. And this is where an archway is into the Transfiguration Courtyard. So just go ahead and build up on these foundations until you do come in line with this area right here. And then just round off with some sandstone stairs, just like this. And this archway is seen in one of the first films when we see Hagrid kind of dragging Christmas tree, put this on the screen. And this archway is this archway at the back. However, the main difference is this building right here, which you can see on the screen, does not exist in the Half-Blood Prince. And that's one of the reasons I hate this tower right here, but that is for a later episode. And then in this area here, you can just extend this all the way up. And then this one right here as well, all the way up, just like that. And then you can go ahead and round this off with some sandstone stairs, just like that. And then actually just to add a bit of texture, we can grab ourselves some smooth sandstone actually, and replace these cut sandstone blocks with smooth sandstone, just to add a bit of variation. And I think, yeah, that looks much nicer than this side over here. So that will look just like that. And that is basically this side done. Obviously, we can go ahead and add in some windows. So grab yourself some black stained glass panes and place your first there. And then come up one, two, three, four, five blocks. And then one there. And then one there. Just like that. And oh, oh, another face. <laughs> and that will be that side done. Obviously, there are some windows along here. However, we will cover them in next episode. And then, of course, the exact same thing along here, basically. Oh, oh, I did not realize that happened. Um, yes, when we did use a clone command, um, it did knock out this area along here. So you might need to fill that back in. My bad, I did not notice that happened. Um, there we go. And so all you need to do, basically, for this area is just build it all the way up. This area is very simple. So let's just build our foundations up until it comes in line with the roof. So yeah, I guess we can just do that as a time lapse. So let's just go. And that will look just like that. Obviously this gap here is for the tower which we will build in next episode. And so the next thing we need to do is just add in the fortifications and ramparts. So just go ahead and just build these along, obviously leaving a one block gap between each one. Exactly the same as over here. And so just bring these all the way around, just like so. And then of course add in some sandstone slabs on top, just like this. On top of all of these blocks on the top. And that will look just like so. And of course, don't worry if your lengths aren't exactly the same as mine. Just make sure they kind of connect at a point. And that is really all that matters. And so in this area here, we just go down one block and just place in some, some blocks with this. And then some blocks behind, just like that. And so we can add in some windows. So you place two blocks there. So and then come down one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. And then two blocks right there. And my gosh, in two episodes time, we basically just doubled the area we built, which is great since it means Hogwarts can get done really quickly since the rest of Hogwarts is just a courtyard. Since this area was very dense and hard to build, this area was very simple and the area in the West Wing, obviously I'm on low render since right now, but you can see it's just an area surrounding another courtyard and the clock tower, which is a unique and a special place in my heart. I love it so much. And of course the Great Hall, which is a kind of mega build on its own. And so that will conclude today's episode. And so next episode, we will add in all the kind of big windows along here. This tower here, I'll explain why I hate it so much. And then these windows along there. And maybe this area. And then in the episode after that, 
the astronomy tower. Exciting. And so I would like to thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video and you're not subscribed, make sure to press subscribe. It would I would really, really appreciate it. And of course, if you really do want to support the series, that is my Patreon in the description where you can support me for a small monthly fee. And in return, you will get exclusive roles in my Discord server and you'll get your name in on a sign in my main Hogwarts map upon release. And of course, a mention in my Discord server on a special list. And so thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys next episode where we will build a tower behind me. That's going to be right there. I will see you then.